Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Tanner151 here. And back on my Let's Play for Hearts Iron 3. I hadn't uploaded a video in like a day from this. Or maybe I did yesterday, I'm not really sure. But I hadn't played this game in about two days. So I thought I'd come on here, record a few times, and slowly upload it to YouTube. I've been um, doing some uploading of like Medal of Honor. Because I got Medal of Honor and... Uh, it's a pretty good game, I suggest it. Uh, definitely a rental, but if you're in it, you won't be able to play multiplayer. So that is the downside. Now these troops right here, I'm going to move over to East Prussia. So the Polish can't just run straight through my territory. <clears throat> See, I, since I did transport, they went right back there. They're back here now. So. Oh, I'm going to need more troops. That's unfortunate. Alright. Hmm. Okay. I hope to, uh, during 1938, like late 1937 to throughout 1938, I'm going to focus on my Navy, like, to be upgraded, because it is behind. Compare wow, 1965, my game won't even go that long. But, uh, wow, wait a minute. Hmm, okay, th these need to be upgraded quickly. And I'll do rocket artillery just to get it out of the way. Hopefully, it doesn't take that long. Okay, good. I can send. Whoop! Wow. Send one more over there, and uh, I think one more stream. Yep. <clears throat> All right. One, two. So I just need to add another troop to those three each, and that'd be pretty good. Because I want to focus on my navy. Because one time I built a huge navy and didn't really update it at all, and England destroyed it. It was bad. I mean, I occasionally won a victory, but it wasn't, it wasn't good. And whoa, that went up. Oh, my dog Lucy's scared. I think it's because it's stormy outside and she might have heard thunder. Oh, poor thing. She just came to me ears down looking at me like, help me. <clears throat> Gotta move him there. I think the perfect, like, Alliance for me, like, what would be the best game if I ever had one would be for me to Germany to annex Luxembourg, Switzerland, parts of France here, maybe like northern France, Czechoslovakia, except for the Slovakia part, Poland, Baltic states, and the Soviet Union all the way to the Urals. You know, Finland can get this area, Turkey can get some of this, Italy can get all this, and my allies would be all of. The north, because I, I really don't like invading the Scandinavia. I mean, sometimes I invade Denmark, but I don't really like invading um, Norway or uh, Sweden, because that's just troops you got to send somewhere else. That's a third front. Even though I won't be starting a war with the Soviet Union yet until I'm ready, or semi-ready, I don't want to have the endangerment of having to protect up here, up here, up here, because... If there's one thing Germany will do, it will it can get overextended. Even though it can do that overextension for a long time and keep fighting really hard, it can suck because if you're overextended so much, you're just gonna lose consistently. So that's why I try and focus on like the east. Or like defeat the west or at least really hurt them, then focus on the east. And wow, she must be really scared because she's licking the crap out of me. It's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> and oh, my infantry's done. That's it. Oh god, that sucks. I need more. All right. Let's build a few mountain divisions. They're icy intensive, but they're pretty good. Let's just yeah, let's build six. Then infantry. Oh. There is a. A technology where you can make your division have five brigades you know that empty spot right there 
I can't remember what it is. I d I've done it before, but I just I can't remember. 21 infantry. That that should be good. And oh my god, this is going up again. <sighs> But I figured out how to do live comps for Xbox. So, yeah. <laughs> if you came to my channel to watch this, and you've never seen my Xbox stuff, watch my more recent stuff. It's not great, but I'm getting there. I didn't do my, I didn't do live com for all my Medal of Honor walkthroughs. I only did it on one of them, so, yeah. I think the earliest I've ever started war was, uh... 1938 like early 1938 because I made Poland seem very threatening because you can make a country seem threatening to the world I made it seem threatening then I invaded and took it out in 1937 I'm like sweet now I can get Austria annex Austria and I was waiting to annex Czechoslovakia then when I did annex the Sutherland I lost so much neutrality England and France declared war on me so I didn't get all of uh, Czech which was disappointing so I try not to start war. I try and let the beginning play off, play out like it did historically. Then that's when I start doing um. Oh, I already have one there. Then that's where I start doing stuff that didn't happen in real life. Like I really don't do the the Ardennes thing, like where they break through and charge straight across this area to cut them off. Because in real life, the Allied forces were up here. Um, uh, sorry. In real life, um, the uh, the French and the British sent a lot of troops into Belgium because they knew the Germans were going to attack there. So the Germans went through the Ardennes forest, cut through, trapped them, and then later on, Allied forces went to Netherlands to defend it. So there was a lot of troops there. Germans cut through, was going to the ports here, and they had to retreat to Dunkirk, the Allies. And for some reason, Hitler ordered the German Panzer divisions, which were really close to pushing them out, to not to not advance. They were like all around here, and they weren't told to advance. So, a couple hundred thousand Allied troops got out and gave England hope. So, like the Axis could have easily well <clears throat> between 1939 and 1942, the Axis could have won the war pretty easily. 1943. It maybe could have won. Okay, 1941 definitely could have won easily. 1942, difficult, but could have won. 1943, maybe won if it got really lucky. In 1944, it could have stalemated. That's the best it could have hoped for. There we go. Uh, I got some unused IC right there. Uh... Oh, now it goes down. Jesus. What I, what did I do that made it go up so high? Uh, whatever. <clears throat> so, technology. I really want to get the tank stuff out of the way. So, I'm just going to keep researching it. <clears throat> Crap, the dogs are barking. Yay, medium tanks. And once I usually unlock the next tank area, like now that I've unlocked this, I don't really I don't really research this at all. I do a little bit, but not to the degree that I probably should. <clears throat> because I prefer medium tanks and heavy tanks. I rarely use super heavy tanks because this is like I think I said this in my last video but I was re-looking up t the German tanks so this is like Panzer 1 and 2 Ma mainly Panzer 2's Panzer 3's Panzer 3's and uh, probably Panzer 4's Panther which I thought was Panzer 4 like the name for it, but no it's actually a different tank the Panther tank then the Tiger and the King Tiger so I think that's how it goes but I, I really want a really strong military. I mean, you gotta have it. I mean, strong tank force. What else?
trails. See, once this desert crap gets out of the way, that will help me a lot to focus on other stuff that I need. See, I'm trying to research the things that only, like, you need to research one and they're done. And once I get those out of the way, I'll start researching other stuff. And if you research a technology past when it actually came out, it researches really quick. Very quickly. See? Done. Done. Oh, my, my navy is being developed. Yay. Alright, I'm going to put some fighters here. And here. Do I have enough actually? Yeah. And. Uh, don't want these ports to go to waste. <clears throat> Jeez. I'm trying to do something here. Okay, now they've gone to the war. Okay. I'll click on that later. Alright, since Berlin... Does it have full AA units? Oh, it will. Okay. Since Berlin has a lot of industry and it's the capital, I like to defend it a lot. See, I think they really should have done more at the Spanish Civil War because... In real life, the Italians and the Germans sent supplies, Russia sent supplies to a republic in Spain, yet you don't really do anything. You're just relationships with the two country change. And, uh, wow, that's like a really start, that's a really crappy starting position for them. Most of the time, nationalist Spain wins, sometimes it doesn't. And I prefer it to win, so it would have, uh, that's another ally, and or another potential ally, and since he will be fascist, the French will have to leave some units here just in case they join, which they won't join until I take out England and Gibraltar. So. <clears throat> yes. Finally, the Marines. I need, I do need some Marines. We need a few good men. <laughs> uh, the Marines are just very, you know, see, it shows a picture of the U.S. Marines because they're like the most elite of the Marines during the war. I'm going to need, oh, man, my man, I'm just destroying my manpower early on, because so I'm going to need a lot of, well, I'll cancel one of those, and one of these, throw some manpower back in there, and uh, one of these, and, uh, and, um, <clears throat> I want Marines so I can invade the England because England's really tough on the edges here. 